everyone and welcome to another manga recommendations video. This video is for the um, Seinen series, Seinen Slice of Life series, What Did You Eat Yesterday by Fumi Yoshinaga. It's currently running in the magazine Morning since about 2007 and currently has uh, nine volumes released in English by Vertical. So this is another one of Yoshinaga's currently ongoing series, her other one being Oku. And this series is about uh, two gay men in Japan who uh, you know, live together and sort of the meals they eat, if that makes sense. Um, in saying that, even though the characters are gay, it's not really a BL title like you would uh, usually I think from a manga or from a manga perspective um, it is very very much focused on the food uh, and this series is really probably about 80% recipe and 20% plot and other you know, character related things. Uh, as a Yoshinaga fan I really enjoy it. I think you can really tell her love of food here. It, everything is drawn in kind of an extremely uh, loving way. Each little dish is meticulously uh, shown and uh, expressed through the story and it really is kind of an actual true-to-life slice of life series in so far as we're actually seeing a slice of somebody's day-to-day -day life. There isn't anything uh, abnormally like crazy going on or cute or whatever else that a lot of slice of life is um, kind of marketed towards i.e. the cute girls doing cute things uh, sort of genre this is much more two people who have jobs who have you know life commitments and things that they're doing um, and how their relationship and how they actually sit down and eat and everything else after having to be an adult and, you know, do things throughout the day and how that works out. Um, I'll see if I can find a, uh, an example of our, of what I mean. See, as you can see, all of this is actually a recipe telling you how to cook the dish step by step and then finally we get the dish uh, shown to us and and then of course we have our characters reactions to oh my god it's so delicious and you can you actually get little uh, recipe notes at the back here and at the beginning it shows or it tells you sort of the different uh, dishes that are covered in the the volume first volume as you can see the they're not very thick uh books they're quite quite thin but um standard vertical price i'm probably a little bit expensive for most people but um if you can find it at kind of a discounted price compared to retail i do recommend you pick it up because it is something kind of different and interesting if you have a real interest in food um, especially a realistic food series, then I highly recommend this, as well as being a, a Yoshinaga fan. Similar series would probably be Antique Bakery, one of her other series, as well as um, Takasugi-san's Obento. Um, and even like something like Toriko or Food Wars Whilst, it's not really um, that realistic. It does kind of have that same love of food that those series do. So it's similar in that sense. Um, so, of course, first volume, as you've seen, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five, Volume 6, Volume 7, Volume 
8, and finally Volume 9. Volume 10 does come out uh, next month, I believe, and 11 sometime later in the year, so we are catching up to the Japanese releases. Um, so it, we're not really that far behind in the series or anything like that. But it is kind of an interesting sort of thing. It is a seinen, so like I said, it's not, you're not going to be you know, in your face sort of gay romance or anything like that. It is just really the everyday lives of two middle-aged men and sort of the meals they eat more so than any kind of aspect of the, uh, the, the, uh, BL or romance side to this. So, yes, like I said, it is something a little bit different. Um, it is interesting. It's a good thing to read, in my opinion, even if you're not necessarily a fan of, um, Yoshinaga's. It is certainly interesting, just the food stuff. You can learn a lot, uh, just for preparation of certain meals. And, uh, with that, that's pretty much it with this series. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye till then.